Before we jump into this video, guys, I want to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing. I'm going to be giving away one of these things. It is my number one Steam Deck accessory. I did a review video for it on the channel a couple of days ago. Go watch it. But it's a fold-out keyboard, a fold-out Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad connects to three different devices, one of which I've got connected to my Steam Deck, and it makes navigating the desktop view on SteamOS super simple for setting up emulators, applications, you name it. It's just the perfect travel companion. I'll put a link to this in the video description or the top comment if you don't want to subscribe to have a chance at winning a free one um why wouldn't you just click the subscribe click the bell icon and i'm going to be giving i'm going to be giving this away in a couple of weeks and i'll also be posting updates on the giveaway on twitter so follow me there video a link in the video description anyways guys good luck on the giveaway like i said subscribe and click the bell icon that's all you have to do for a chance at winning one of these things so let's get into it enjoy the video guys and blaze 2k Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and a massive Steam OS update just got released on the Steam Deck and well it's got a lot of stuff on it guys. Um, Steam Deck client update and Steam OS 3.3.2 and we're going to get into the details but before we do please drop a like hit the subscribe and click the bell icon and we're going to install this on my own Steam Deck right now. Let's get into it guys. So guys, here we go. Here's the official Steam Post. Steam Deck client update and SteamOS 3.32. Um, so it includes a lot of improvements for dock mode, adds external display output resolution and refresh rate selection UI and display settings. Now this is something they added to the preview build just recently and um, that we talked about in a previous video. Automatically avoids problematic resolutions like 1496 by 2160 or 30 hertz modes on external displays. I've had a few issues with my display default to 30 hertz, which is a little bit jarring. Um, improved external display hot plug detection, fixed in-game camera control issues when using a physical mouse, um, fixed aspect ratio and resolution not properly switching in the Steam UI um, after reconnecting an external monitor and fixed an issue where frames could drop on external displays at lower refresh rates. Um, they've also fixed a, a crash in Red, De Red Dead Redemption 2. Now I know that was a big massive issue affecting a lot of people. A lot of people couldn't even run the game the way they wanted to, right? Um, because of this crash and other issues like this have happened to other games including f122 which i believe to this date <laughs> doesn't work on the steam deck although it did at first and it was marked as verified on the steam deck and i bought it because it was marked as verified and then ea pushed out an update that broke it on the steam deck but there was a way to fix it by downloading the by downloading a, a newer version of proton manually um which i might cover in a, a future video which might help you in future games if, if 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 an update comes out for a game and it breaks compatibility on steam deck there might be a way to fix it and i'll cover that in a future video so please like subscribe and click the bell icon for that one um so they've improved frame pre frame pacing when compositing such as when fsr is enabled improved touch and detach detection speeds modified usb descriptors to support controller navigation and efi menu at boot fixed controller firmware update applying on every boot fix a scenario where sd card format operation could fail fix an issue where small touches would be ignored on edges of some trackpads and fixed unsolicited random haptic events hmm unsolicited random haptic events eh um interesting um they've also fixed boot tone volume to be equalized across models cool they've also made a lot of improvements to the steam client now this is a lot of stuff we're going to go through it performance improvements when rendering the home screen that's always good um let me just type in something here um chat to xboxes are now all focused when operating the chat tab fix some cases where cloud sync would be attempted while offline fixed an issue with startup tactics haptics docked mode they've added a toggle allowing steam deck to automatically control the display resolution for external dis displays when toggled on steam deck will automatically adju adjust the resolution for best performance and high resolution displays so if you've got an ex an insanely high 4k display you're docking to um it's going to try and find the best display for that automatically um if you choose to toggle it on um to get the best performance out of that display or to get the best performance out of the steam deck because obviously if you run games at like 4k 120 <laughs> 
or dock your Steam Deck and try and run games at 4K 120, its performance is going to be terrible. And some people maybe not, or maybe not tech, techy minded, and not realize that's a problem. Um, and they'll be like, why? Why is the Steam Deck running this game at two frames a second? Why? Oh, Steam Deck sucks. I'm returning it. <laughs> you know, there are people out there like that that that, that don't realize that maybe if they, because they connected it to a monitor, maybe the Steam Deck is displaying the Steam Deck UI at 4K 120 and obviously games are not going to run or adapt well to that <laughs> at least on the Steam Deck, at least not yet, maybe the Steam Deck 2 or 3 might support 4K 120 but maybe not the current Steam Deck um, um, Steam Deck now keeps track of refresh rate and FPS limit settings independently for internal and external displays they've disabled refresh rate switching via the quick access menu for external displays by default alternative refresh rates are still accessible via the resolution drop down in settings and display um, added a toggle to developer settings to re-enable refresh rate switching in the quick access menu for external displays so you can, so that, I was worried about that so they've disabled the ability to switch your refresh rate in the quick access but for those that maybe did still want that functionality, there is a toggle now in developer sense to re-enable it. Um, Steam input controller configuration is now automatically switched to be per device when multiple of the same controller are connected at once. Virtual menu previews in the configurator now highlight the appropriate button when navigating the associated command in the command list. Reduced occurrence of double ap activations on soft press and touchpads and sticks. Um, Fixed scaling of the virtual hotbar menu to preview in the configurator. Okay, fixed an issue where disabled would be listed multiple times in the drop down options for modes. Okay, fixed an issue where booting into offline mode in desktop would result in unresponsive controller inputs until the stay offline dialog was clicked. I know that's been an issue for a few people. Fix an issue where setting command settings inside mode shift. Fix the bug where switching the active controller in the configurator could lose unsafe changes. Fix the crash when editing the mode settings for an input, e.g., joystick. Fix the crash when setting a trigger input to disabled and then an action set layer. Fix the crash when loading some Steam input configs. Um, so that's also been happening to some people. So that's good they fixed it. Um, Steam input flick stick reduced update rate from 240 hertz. Reduced update rate from 240 hertz to 120 hertz to remove reduced instances of maxed out mouse movement between game frames. Hmm. Added a slap back check so the stick does not automatically invoke on an opposite side turn when snapping home aggressively okay any remaining snap angle is dulled as the stick returns to zero this further redu reduces mouse movement spikes okay fixed inner radius default to be lower fixed dampening value uh, not being used for the correct ranges and obviously custom boot videos is no longer a preview picture it's built in and baked into the stable the stable Steam Deck operating system OS. Uh, Steam Deck will now look for custom boot video and or suspend animation um, in Steam root config or UI overrides and movies. So wait, hold on. They've done, have they changed the, the folder? Because it used to be... Okay, I think they might have changed the folder to where you need to put your custom boot animation video. I might have to do a new video talking about that because I did post a guide just the other day talking about how you could add your own custom boot animation. And I even went as far as to make my own custom boot animation. Um, I'll put a link to my custom Halloween 1978 John, Car John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween film um, intro as my custom Steam Deck boot animation with a little bit of a added flair um, to it. If you want to take a look at that i'll put a link in the description for it or the top comment of this video whichever one um and obviously please note you'll need to create this folder first you'll need webm file format no need to truncate the video no need to mess with css so that's good because before the manual way of doing it you'd have to truncate the video make sure the file was the exact same size as the default video so that's all taken care of now and play custom boot animations in full screen yes awesome so there we go that is steam os 3.32 and obviously the steam deck client update as well so that is great that's a lot of um a lot of improvements and it just shows you the rate at which they're pushing out these updates it's like every other week we're getting some big update with a bunch of fixes and this is another use case or another case why steam os is better on the steam deck than windows because obviously a lot of these issues that they're listing with whether it be hardware issues um so you know it's regular software issues in games and compatibility fixes all this is just coming to steam os so if you're running windows you're kind of on your own if you're having a lot of these issues here in games you know a lot of these issues won't be fixed 
at least not by Valve, right? Um, now, a lot of these issues probably won't affect Windows anyway, because obviously these, probably a lot of these issues are related to Proton compatibility with Linux and Windows software, obviously. So not all these issues are going to apply to Windows on the Steam Deck, but some might, and obviously they're taking steps to fix them on SteamOS, but on Windows, you're kind of left on your own, right? Um, you're sort of relying on Windows um, or Microsoft to push out Windows updates to, that might address some of these issues. But there you go. And um, let's switch over to my iPhone cam because I've got a pretty new, cool new cam for you guys where I could switch while I'm filming this video. I could actually show you the update here. Um, so here it is. Let me see. Where's my brightness? Oh, there we go. So there it is Steam Deck client beta update just a couple of things just a couple of things are you kidding me that's a lot of things uh, let's go back and i'm going to hit apply so to install this you're obviously let's just pretend we're back at the home page all right we're back at the home page you've got no idea how to oh, why is the touch screen not working is that another bug they need to fix <laughs> so you're back at the home screen you're like how do i install steam os 3.32 well i'm going to show you how so we're going to click the steam button we're going to go down and tap settings. Okay, settings. I guess that's a new bug. That screen doesn't work for some reason. We're going to go to settings. We're going to hit A. A. We're going to go down to system on the left. Then we're going to go to right. And hopefully you should see the client update here where it should explain, obviously, what's all new. Um, when... Now, I think I might have already updated this specifically. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm on a preview thing. So if we go to switch back to stable, it should be... Well, I don't want to switch back to stable. Let's go back. But anyways, yeah, it should be here. All right, so there you go. SteamOS 3.3.2. It should be on the stable channel. Um, I'm obviously on preview, and I don't want to get off it. I like being on the bleeding edge of SteamOS. All right. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I'm blazed 2 okay. I really appreciate your time watching this video. If you liked it, please consider dropping a like. Hit the subscribe and click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content every single day. And um, if this video was helpful in any way, please click the thanks button down below. It really helps out. And consider becoming a member by clicking join or visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash blaze2kx. And oh, follow me on Twitter as well, all right? Twitter, link in the description because I'm very active on Twitter now. Um, and come say hi. You know, let me know what games you're playing on your Steam Deck. Can connect more than we are already connecting in this video. Anyways, guys, have a great day. I love you. I'm Blaze. Bye.